Hey everyone, it's Mona here, Craft Clutch, and today we're going to make some easy beachy jewelry. You guys, I have a very easy craft for you today. This is so easy. These molds, you can get them at the craft store, and they're um, plaid molds. I think Mod Podge molds. And this one happens to be like a beachy theme with a starfish and a sand dollar and a shell and all that stuff. And I have a little bit of resin left over from a different project. And I have the easy cast. So here it is. And I'm just going to mix in some glitter. I have this glow in the dark glitter. And I got it at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to pour some in here. Pretty generous amount. And then I'll throw in just some other fine glitter to go along with it to give it a little extra sparkle. And then I'm going to drip this stuff into my sand dollar. You want to go kind of slow because they fill up pretty quick. If you're ever wondering what to do with your excess resin, just have some of these little molds hanging around and then you can always have a quick project. Okay, so that one's nice and full. I'm going to do the same with the starfish and that starfish fills up really, really quickly. And then we got enough for the seashell. Here are our little glow-in-the-dark pieces. They pop right out of these molds. This guy worked out better than I expected. And remember, this is the glow-in-the-dark glitter. So they look cute just as they are, but then when you turn out the lights, they glow. And I'll show you that at the very end. Now if you want to make a pendant, you just need a jewelry bale. And you can find them very inexpensively at the craft stores, online, all over the place. And they come in different shapes, different sizes. Sometimes you can find them on clearance. I found one just the other, I think these I found on clearance. And I think they're pretty great. So you just glue those on, and then you have these cute little pieces of jewelry. And you add a cord, and then you have jewelry, just like that. It could be a necklace. And then when you're someplace dark, it will be all aglow. So that's a super simple craft, especially if you're just getting started with resin, or you just wanted to try something a little bit different. And I would probably use the ultimate glue to glue them on, because I find that is a really great glue that holds. And I'll link that down in the description below, too. And I'll see if I can't find this mold online, if you can't find it in the craft store. And so you know, I did a little bit of experimenting with some other stuff. These that have a little bit of the glitter in there were the ones with the glow-in-the-dark glitter. And then I had some leftover resin when I did those glow-in-the-dark concrete coasters with the dots in them. And I put it right into that mold again. And this was with that glow ink powder that I tried. I had bought some samples, and it's kind of pricey, but it does glow a lot brighter than, say, um, the glitter or the other paint. And then what I did just for fun, I mixed some of that chunky red glitter that I often use. I mixed that in with that, um, that super, super bright stuff. And I'm going to show you how it turns out. I have some pictures at the end too. But you can kind of see, this one's going to outshine everything. See, these fades pretty fast and that one lasts. They do glow, and in person, it's a lot brighter than it is here. I'll have some pictures at the end where it shows up better. So thanks, guys, for watching. That was kind of a quick and easy resin project, perfect for beginners or anybody just playing around with the resin that wants to try something different. And I didn't even know that glow-in-the-dark glitter existed until I found it at the store. So thank you guys so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, um, and giving me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thanks for your comments and for coming back every week. I will definitely see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.